Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, if you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, I mean, I have my pack because I have yours. If you guys can see, um, the sun is setting and it's setting. Well, my window over there, the sun has already reached this other side, but where I'm at, um, the sun is setting, and I think it's so pretty that I think you guys need to experience it with me. How about that? And so there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and pull a general read to see where you are, but I just thought that that was a good thing. Um, this is a card deck. can't think of the name of it, but it is something that I used to use back when I first uh, started to do the dailies, uh, daily inspiration, I think that's what it was called, but it just gives you a form of looking at things in a different perspective, and you know, nothing's coming out yet, but we need to know a perspective of feeling an emotion and to know what we should be focusing on or what it is that we should be doing. Um, yeah, so there you have it. You see the sun is going down. I think it's it's like 7.05 uh, this uh at this point right now um yeah a lot of cards came over i'll go ahead and take them so abundance you need to know that you're abundant uh this is the intentions is the bottom of the deck which is at the front of the deck because there are sayings on the back we have abundance we have beauty we have growth we have peace we have reassess it, reassess we have body and we have self so these are the energies that we need to kind of focus on now this tarot deck is it's kind of like a farming type tarot deck i don't know i don't remember the name of it again i don't have my desk set up all the way but um it's kind of like growing uh uh standing the test of time the processes things like that um so i think this is a really good one um to start with but Right now, I'm not using that. I used that in my last read. Right now, the abundance is here. It says, being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is a secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. So you, the process is about, uh, I always tell my son this, and I always I listen to this off the game of life and how to play it, but as money goes out, money comes in. You have to always know that once you put it out, it'll come right back to you. And when it comes to seeing the beauty in certain situations it says today you are a curator of beauty you are blessed with moments that let you know beyond a shadow of the doubt that all is well in the world so just knowing and you know trusting in the universe and trusting in your intuition and just trusting in the things that you do causes growth and this is a, a greenhouse and all of the other plants are small but again as you grow and as you learn and see the beauty and know that as money goes out money comes in or as things um, move forward in life this is something that causes growth and then it says evolution starts when you leave your comfort zone so you have to get out of there know that you know you can't hoard your money you can't hold on to things that you know as they say you can't take them with you um, but you have to set your intentions and I guess that's why intentions came out it says evolution starts when you leave your comfort zone get comfortable with being uncomfortable so you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable because this may not seem like it's a peaceful thing laugh now cry later right um, but you have to understand it says just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance make your life a drama free zone cut off the things that don't serve you understand that you have to reassess things daily and that is when you have to come with setting foundations set, uh, setting boundaries and moving forward so you have to reassess certain situations it says you have to you have the right to change your mind and so changing your mind when it comes to friendship situationships relationships is all fuel for your body it's all to help you know and nurture you and uh, practice self-love so body is here your body deserves your love and so this is sometimes is that we take away our um our energy and give it to someone else because of the fact that we want to love them and to let them know that we're capable of loving them and being loved but no we want love and we want them to know that we're capable of being everything to them but it it all starts with self you know self-love you can feel trapped uh in a situation to where you keep giving 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 and it's all about self at the end of the day if beating yourself up worked with uh worked you'd 
excuse me, if beating yourself up worked, you'd be thin, rich, and happy. Try loving yourself instead. And so that is sometimes you can't figure out what it is. The growth comes in with you finding peace in every situation and reassessing and knowing that you have the right to be, um, to, to, to be everything and anything that you want when it comes to yourself. And then we have intentions. The number one intentions, it says, what if the only resolution you made was to love yourself more? And it all starts with you. You cannot give a perfect love in order to receive a perfect love. If you're not loving yourself, you can't pour from an empty cup. And that is a part of what it is to be abundant. And sometimes abundance is not about money. It's about your mental status. And so when you see the beauty in who you are and know the growth that you came from or the past, learning from the past and being at peace with everything that has happened to you, then you will look at things in a different light. So let's see. These cards are not, um, we're not going to do the reverses and things like that. But this is you recognizing your strengths. Uh, this is a mama cup and a baby cup. Uh, and I will say to you, now the sun is really going down. You can still see the light over there because um, it's it's not all the way dark. But um, the strength energy says, strength isn't always physical. Your patience, passion. Wait a minute. What does it say? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Strength isn't always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you strong, not the sharpness of your voice. So sometimes we just have to recognize our strengths and realize that we have to move on. We cannot nurture every situation that comes in our life. The only thing we can do is nurture ourselves and love ourselves. And that comes with the seven of pentacles energy, planting the seed. You know, if you plant the seed in somebody, if somebody really uh, loves and adores you, and um, this is with any situation, a job or things like that, if they really know your worth and see your worth and they'll be able to know that why you're planting the seeds, why you're there, they'll feel your absence. And so that's the reason why it's all about self-love because you're doing everything that you need to do in order to get through this thing called life. And sometimes people take your kindness for weakness. And that's when it comes to, yeah, the queen of pentacles. So the queen of pentacles, as JDS Tarot says the queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself because she'll do anything and everything for the abundance of her family or just to make sure her family is safe. Um, I'm going to cut the light on because it's starting to um, get blurry on my camera. But uh, yeah, this the queen of pentacles says um, on the quotes, sorry, um, a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no matter what that no matter what as jds tarot says can be toxic because the queen of pentacles will do any and everything that looks horrible the queen of pentacles will do any and everything when it comes to family and sometimes you have to um understand and pull your energy back and relax and rest and know that you did everything you can and it's all about self-love so self-love is also about being still when things you know when your when your intentions are taken for granted and the nine of cups energy it's a wishing well right here the nine of cups is like you um you have your you can go after your rewards and do everything but you have to know your true intentions and the first thing the first priority is you and your self love and you being able to embody what love is and sometimes we put ourselves on the back burner when it comes to what we believe could um means more and that could be love and you can laugh now but you'll cry later and that's the reason why it's time for you to start setting boundaries and to understand that your intentions are to love but at the same time you can't love people that are willing to really see the beauty in you and to love you for what you for who and what you really are and that's why it's about the body and you nurturing it and seeing the beauty and the growth and also uh, having peace and if something disturbs your peace you have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you if that makes sense and so I'm going to go ahead and pull from um, this tarot deck to see where the abundance part is coming in at or where you're questioning the type of abundance uh, and also the beauty let's see uh, this I forget the name of this tarot deck but it's kind of like a Harry Potter type tarot deck uh, with witches and uh in uh, certain situations. So we have the Knight of Cups and we have the uh, Lover's Energy. So uh, it could be dealing with air signs, but the Knight of Cups Energy um, lets you know that, hold on, I, I think I'm going to turn the light on behind me. Hold on one second. 
Okay, sorry about that. The Knight of Cups energy um, basically says, always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. But when it comes to the lover's energy, doing what makes your heart happy, some people look at abundance as financial, and you look at abundance as love and and support and to cherish and to nurture somebody and to follow your heart and will do anything for love. That's why the Queen of Pentacles shows their face is because of the fact that if you are following your heart and you, th this is how you feel. And that's the reason why I believe I saw it here when it says to reassess things. Um, let me see if it was back here, beating yourself up work. You, uh, if beating yourself up work, you be thin, rich, happy, and uh, try to love yourself instead. And also, um, I'm trying to think which one it is, the peace. Um, just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance, make your life a drama-free zone. I'm trying to see which one it was. But basically what I'm trying to say is that when people think that abundance is about finances and about what you can do for them, you have to kind of turn around and say, no, it's about me following my heart. So you're going to be comfortable with being uncomfortable because you have to follow your heart and do everything else. Somebody wants you to live. Somebody can want you to live a, and a certain life when it comes to what they feel like, what they deem uh, important and what's important to them is not important to you. And so that's the reason why it's time for you to sit in a foundation of love and to know that if somebody doesn't love the way you love, it's okay to walk away. Um, being a thoughtful steward of money. Uh, yeah, because see this, and this is where a lot of people um, differ from you, meaning that this is where, People are like cancer is crazy because cancer goes, it's like bail. That's what I can, the best story that I can tell about cancer is like, um, you know, the person who will see through a person, see through the hurt and see through the pain that somebody is going through and to be able to love them, to learn to love them and to want all these quick, quirky, witty things, you know, uh, reading books and Gaston she does you don't want the Gaston type of person you rather deal with the beast you don't want a cocky person you want somebody who uh not saying want you find yourself um falling in love with the person who is standoffish falling in love with the person who um may not have the same interests as you but you turn around and you know, that is something that you could see something different in these people and in and, and this person. And so love is different from you. It's you learning to love things that, you know, may be different from you if that's the case. And so doing what makes your heart happy is the lover's energy. But it also, the lover's energy can be you to follow your heart twice. Knight of Cups energy and also lovers is following your heart twice. No matter what, this all is about following your heart and your true intention and loving yourself and everything will unfold. The beauty is here. Let's see. The beauty is here. Beauty comes with doo -doo -doo -doo, the King of Cups, empathetic energy, empathy. You want somebody who is empathetic towards your heart, but the King of Cups also is somebody who has emotional control and balance. You know, if somebody doesn't see the beauty in what you see, then you can't. It says today you are a curator of beauty. You are blessed with moments that let you know beyond a shadow of the doubt that all is well in the world. So you want somebody to be able to have emotional control, but yet you need to have emotional control over yourself and your ideas and the things that you want because at some point you will start to listen to the naysayers and start to be negative. And that's the reason why you have to create your own narrative and that's growth. You know, being able to create your own narrative, not to care about what others think and to be able to go through and see things in a different light, but to love and also be loved. But that be loved part is different because people are afraid of the way you love. And that's why the Ten of Pentacles comes in the reverse. People are afraid of the way you love because you love like no other you give your all you figure out things this is the dark side of what it is to be uh wealthy um um this is what you know all of the failures and the things that you go through when it comes to growth you're not always going to have a perfect uh ending uh when it comes to building a future or building a foundation but if you see the better part of the situation and you know that you're still steady working on seven of pentacles the things that you love if you have it with a person place or situation see this person is should be following their heart but what they're doing is so afraid and this could be you too afraid of what the what ifs and what if things don't work out and uh you know what if you know we yeah 
this is this has changed. This card keeps coming out. This is the third time this card has come out within the last day or so, or two days or so. You know, change the death energy. Death is an uh, death. Wait, let me read it. Let me see what it says. I gotta find it. Embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. That's what change is. And you have to have change when it comes to seeing growth. You know, as they say, as, a, as, as above, so below. The same thing, they said that with the trees, their roots grow just as deep as the, the um, top part of the trees, right? And so sometimes these same trees can look like they're growing and they, they might look this way, like they're small and they can't break through. But this is one that has nurtured a lot, and these ones are growing, but they are growing just as big as these under here because that's about planting the right seeds. And so if Ten of Pentacles, you are afraid to change because if, if a person is afraid to change and uh, because they don't see the the same beauty that you see and all of the losses, taken risk and things like that, then therefore there will be for you laugh now cry later you'll be happy right now but at the end you'll really realize that you've wasted a lot of time in regards to trying to get somebody to see your envision your, your visions or your endeavors and the peace comes with you again starting over working on yourself eight of pentacles energy you have to start over so you have to be able to set boundaries and that's where that came out when it comes to the king of cups energy and also understanding that you have to be able to set boundaries. You have to be able to see the uh, picture. You have a uh, big picture. You have to be able to have emotional control and balance over things that you cannot change. So it's not about laughing now, crying later. It's about you understanding that no matter what risk you take, you have to be able to start over and not be able to see things in a, um, in a negative light. But that's causing for you to reassess everything that you've done. And that also is about the Knight of Swords. You have to be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, and go after it in a single-minded determination. And at some point, some people cannot do that, but they don't understand how cancers are able to restart, to re redo things over and over again, and also come out successful. And no matter how hard you fall, um, I say stand up. What is it? What is that? Um, fall down eight, fall seven times, stand up eight. I can't think of it. Niraki. I can't think of the name of what it is, um, but... Um, I, I believe that that is, you know, the best thing in life is to take those lessons and to run with them. You, you're going to fall down. You're going to fall down more times than you get up. And so if you give up the first time you fall, then you'll never be able to take those chances that you uh, that you have have to take in life. And that's what keeps stagnation. And so a lot of people don't understand how all we need is a little bit of sleep. All we need is a little bit of sleep and we need a little bit of encouragement. And sometimes we have to be our own cheerleader. We have to encourage ourselves when it comes to um, what it is that and why we're doing our whys and recognizing our strengths because we have these quirky different ways of being our own cheerleader. But the Queen of Wands being here just lets you, uh, excuse me, Queen of Pentacles being here and the Four of Swords being here, it just lets you know that you, can, you have to recognize your own strengths and plant your own seeds, but you also have to know when to pull your energy back because the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is financial independence, self-care and work, uh, you know, uh, work in, um, in, at, at your own pace, but the queen of pentacles in the upright is you nurturing and you providing and you doing everything um, and being practical for everyone else except yourself, if that makes sense. And so when it comes to the knight of swords coming out, it says, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go it after it in a single minded determination. And that is why you have to reassess everything. You have to go after these things, no matter what what type of losses you take, you have to get up and get back on the wheel, as they say. And that's where the um, the wheel of fortune always is prevalent. We, you know, we roll with it. We go with the flow. But we also have to roll with the punches, too. And that's where the justice energy consequences of your own actions. But if we keep and stay in a stagnation mode, then we'll start to, instead of loving ourselves or loving the situation and loving the challenge, we start to sit in hermit mode, get in hermit mode. And then before hermit mode, it's like we're getting mad at everyone being in our queen of pentacles, uh, excuse me, queen of swords energy, but it's in the reverse type energy. Um, it's like, uh, that, that, um, overly emotional energy and also somebody who is easily influ uh, influenced and also cold hearted. We become cold hearted and we start to 
uh, tear people down because we've been there for everyone. If somebody is not reciprocating the same thing, then it just makes us feel some type of way. So body is here. We have to love ourselves, love our body, love our flaws, love our all of the things that, um, you know, people um, might criticize. We have to be okay with it, you know. And that is just when it comes to why we're able to, um, supersede a lot of people and, and we don't do it intentionally we do it because knight of wands we live in our drake energy you only live once be bold be fearless do what you love and doing what we love is also loving people but it also is learning how we can be negative and toxic to ourselves, queen of pentacles so you have to understand what your true intentions are and what it is that you really want and that's for you to recognize your strengths to constantly plant seeds in order to, for re to redevelop your life and also know the difference between between over nurturing a situation a codependent situation and also you being able to be financially independent and care for yourself without waiting for somebody or wanting for somebody to do that and waiting for somebody to fit the feel the void uh, because you see potential in them but that's where the nine of cups energy comes in at when it comes to you um, having um, like the luxuries the emotional stability and the satisfaction that you require so it all kind of comes with the nine of cups and also um the king of cups energy this is you have an emotional control over uh, and emotional stability. So emotional control is one thing, King of Cups energy, but emotional stability is another thing, which is you going after the things that you want and being emotionally okay and stable with if somebody doesn't agree with what it is that you want. And that's about learning to love yourself, if that makes sense. And that's what we're clarifying now. Um, this card comes out with the the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're learning to love your, yourself because of the struggle. Five of Pentacles energy. The Five of Pentacles energy could be five years it took for you to get through this or five years you went through poverty, a mindset, a lack mindset, and isolation, and also worrying. And that's the reason why the abundance is here. Again, I'll read it to you. Being a thoughtful steward for money is you already have is a secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. So you have to know that the struggle is real, but this is a lack mentality. This is a lack mind self of not being able to love yourself and to support yourself and not doing what makes your heart happy and recognizing your strengths and recognizing your abilities of what it is that you need to do. And that's the Knight of Cups energy, which is you being idealistic and also following your heart and that's what both of these cards are so the lover's energy is following your heart but it also can be with the knight of cups energy um always follow your heart it'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain and with the lover's energy i'm not going to be able to see this but let's see if i can read it from over here the lover's energy says doo -doo -doo -doo, where is it at hmm why can't I? Oh, right here. It says, always make choices that honors the truth that lies within your heart. Go out and and seek that which completes, which completes you and brings you love and joy. So I'm sorry, you probably couldn't hear me because I was looking down another way, but yeah, this is what you what what abundance is. Abundance to you is following your heart. It's not necessarily financial, and it's also learning from the struggles. And at the bottom of the deck is three of swords. Yeah, so the three of swords energy is heartbreak, but it also is like emotional pain. It's pain that you are putting yourself through by not really knowing what your true intentions are when it comes to you wanting your nine of cups, your rewards, having your cake and eating them too, um, but it's not financial. It, you, you're your wishes, you know, maybe a financial thing might be you wishing for to pay a bill, uh, manifesting to pay a bill, but it overall is about your happiness and being able to have people, other people happy, to be able to see the person that you or people that you really love happy and abundant. That is the best thing that you can wish for as a cancer, but also you have to learn to keep going through and to roll with the punches no matter what you go through. Does that make sense? Or the hurt? You have to keep going ahead and going after your intentions in order for you to fulfill the things that you wish and pray about. And that's where um, not having any stagnation and to be able to understand and endure change and also to have emotional 
Again, listen to this, emotional control, also nine of cups, emotional stability. And that's the intentions that the universe is trying to get you to understand is that the struggle is real, but the struggle only comes with learning that you only live once. So you're going to keep nurturing and loving everyone else. But at that same point, instead of you going in the reverse of the queen of pentacles energy, you're going to have empathy. You're going to nurture certain situations and you're going to provide uh, financially when you can, when you can, and you're going to cut off the things that don't serve you, but you're going to main priority is financial independence. And it's also self-care. It's also self-care. So self-care is why you're going to continue this whole thing and love your body and love yourself enough to be able to know that when the struggles come, you're going to pull through them and you're going to understand and recognize your strengths and then keep replanting the seed if you have to, but you're never going to stop working on yourself. And also you're never going to stop loving. And when it, when everything happens to where you feel tied down, you're going to relax. You're going to pull your energy back, uh, four swords energy. You're going to rest and you're going to be able to understand that it's time for you to rethink, to understand what it is that you need to do. And this is recuperating and also being, um, you know, like um, um, rejuvenating yourself. And that's a part of self-care and learning to love yourself. I think that was a really good read. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, from the fortune deck to see what comes out and then to give you a good fortune. And then we're going to pull from the crystal deck and the... Um, which focuses on the chakras and also the four agreements. Uh, so, yeah, I just think that was a really good read. We watched the sun go down a little bit, uh, but as much as we could without the blur. Oh, I thought a card turned over. But, yeah, uh, yeah, you got to learn to love yourself. and You got to learn to roll with the punches and never to be able to, you know, the laugh now, cry later. You want to constantly laugh and not really cry later to understand uh, what it is. Proceed with caution. So especially when it comes to how you've been proceeding, you have to proceed with caution because if it's something that's going to tear you down, you have to know. And that's the reason why the emotional um, control and the um, emotional stability and also um, which one was it? The um, it was something else I was trying to say. One of the other emotional things, was it the four of swords energy? I think it was the four of swords energy, which is you having to recuperate. And that's going into hermit mode to do some type of soul searching. So it says to seek guidance. So don't be afraid to ask for help if you need to. And it says depression will dissipate. So just know this too shall pass. So if you're going through a situation where you're pulling your energy back and you're recuperating, just know that this too shall pass. But the, the end goal is for you to work on yourself, recognize your strengths, don't ever stop planting the seed and understand where the struggle is coming from. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements. And then I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. Coons and I, this came out in my last read. So I'm going to stop doing this because I think this is a lazy form of shuffling. So, I mean, respectfully to me, because I want to get a new card every time. And if it comes back out, it does. But be impeccable with your words. Manifest your true intentions. Or it was just meant for this to come out. Manifest your true intentions, and that's all this is about having your rewards and know um, what it is. Intentions, your true intentions. It, it came out twice, so I can't make this up. Number one, manifest your, your true intentions, and then this one is intentions. So I'll read this again so you can understand. What if the only resolution you made was to love yourself? What are your true intentions? So there you have it. Um, this one says, regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, going after your dreams, right? What you dream, right here, the wish and dreams, you see? The wishing well, right? What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be will all be manifested through the words. So these are all the things that you have to understand. So choose your words wisely. Understand that give a perfect love to receive a perfect love. And if this was something that you did and somebody didn't reciprocate that or didn't do basically or understand what it was that you were given, send strength and healing period. And I think that's probably why I re-pulled the Kuzan night because this is about your heart chakra. Um, send in strength and healing. If you want to know about the four agreements and the crystal deck, again, I put the, uh, I'll put the links up above. But this is unconditional love, contemplation, and introspection. 
unconditional love, contemplation, and introspection. It says, I release outer influences and am filled with divine love. So no matter what the situation is, you're learning to laugh now and to know your intentions, but also to know that you're filled with love. So no matter what the situations may be and what they lead to, you know that you've done your best and also that this too shall pass. So I think that was a really good read. Let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate. Negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, dead, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.